Hey guys, so in today's video, we're gonna be swapping out the drive shafts on the Traxxas Max. We are taking the plastic ones off of there and we are putting the metal ones on there. They're still drive shafts. Hopefully, this will let it withstand the, the big, heavy tires I put on there. I put the J-Concepts Fling Kings. They're really big tires. They put a lot of strain on the drivetrain and we're gonna beef out the drivetrain and see if it can hold up to this. Hopefully it will, but we're gonna find out soon enough. Here are the parts we're going to use. We've got these hexes and you will notice there are two missing from everything because I've already put the rear drive shafts on but that's 7758 it's the parts number you're gonna need for oh I yeah I forgot they changed the way those are designed so they grip whenever you tighten them up and these are the hexes you're gonna need right here the parts number where is it 8654 and here are the rear drive shafts or the drive shaft set and there's two more in there of course I already put them on there it comes with drive cups and everything else 8950X and I will leave a link down in the description for these. This is for the regular Max, not the wide Max. So we're gonna start off by taking this screw out of the front right here. This is the Max upside down. So 2.5 millimeter is kind of rough. There we go. All right. And this little piece right here will slide down like that. And that piece will come out. And that'll give you access to these pins, and we're gonna pull those pins out. They're not hard to pull out, but you need to have something to grab onto them like that. So we gotta get that hex off. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use these. It's got like a blade, like a, a, a wire cutter right there. So I'm actually going to use that so I'll get that little blade. I know you can't see what I'm doing. Just like that. And it wedges them off. Like that. And there's that little pin. Oh, keep track of that pin. That holds that piece on the drive shaft on the axle. Now we're gonna go right here and we're going to find the screw. Unscrew the screw out of the drive shaft right there. That comes out. It's going to come out like that. The inner bearing will probably come out with the axle like that. And here's the outer bearing right here. So we've got the drive shafts, and it comes with a little package of bearings and the screws you need. There's the drive cups and the drive shafts. First thing we're gonna do is put these drive cups on. So we're gonna find one of the holes is larger than the other hole. Put the larger hole up toward the top. Make sure your drive shaft is in the right space. So, and just gonna screw it together. Make sure the hole is facing up. Line it up like that. Drop your screw in and it'll find its way home. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna use the bearings that came with the set, you cannot reuse the bearings that came out of it. And this bearing is gonna go into the steering hub right here, the caster block. I like to get that started in there. It's easier for me to do it that way than putting it on the axle first. Push it in like that. And that goes in there. Bearing goes on the outside, hold everything in there so it doesn't push it out the other side. Push it together just like that. Now all you do is line up your drive shaft with your drive cup. Put this back over here and insert the pin. Go ahead and put this back together by running that through there. And it slides up like that. I am just getting dirt everywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna use these hubs right here. It comes with a little hardware bag. Inside of this bag is a set screw and a pin for each of these little hubs right here. So the way this works is you're gonna find where the hole is over there in the hole right here. And you're going to work it around so you can 
fit it in the hole. There it goes, just like that. And make sure it's flush on both sides. You're gonna take this little scrub screw right here and you're gonna go right inside the drive shaft like that. That thing's hidden. It is <laughs> easy to miss. So I'm actually letting it spin so I can see, make sure all that's flush. And whoop. that all right and i'm actually going to use this right here this is seven millimeter um wrench or socket or whatever you call it it comes with the revo or, or you can buy them off of uh the traxxas side or, or wherever you can get them in your hobby shop and i want to use that to hold that hex steady so that i can screw in that grub screw now that pin is securely in there not going anywhere. The rear is done the exact same way. You got the screw back here, this piece right here, the pins come out and everything hooks up exactly the same as it does in the front. So of course, now that you have these on there, you have to use these nuts right here. And these are the stock max tires. And you see that you can pull the little insert out of there and that fits over there. So you can run the stock max tires. People were asking about the Erevo tires, the Erevo wheels and tires. Do actually fit on there just fine you can see they are a little bit smaller than the uh, tires that come on the J concepts or the J concept tires so they're not much smaller but they're a little bit smaller I'm not sure how far in they sit or how it's going to work like if you turn or what have you but you can see the tire does actually fit on there before I put these tires on there I got to take that insert out there was this little insert that went down inside there so it could fit the old max style oh and by the way uh the tire tool the what i have to use i took the traxxas this like here this is what came with the erevo and i had to take it and cut these arms off of it because it wouldn't fit down inside of there so you see now you can actually get it down there and spin and i did go try to find a socket when the home depot and in the auto parts store there's no socket i could find that could fit down inside that hole all the sockets were just a little bit too big this is the only one that I found that can fit down inside there. And I know people have said to get like a thin wall socket and I can't find one. The ones I've found that were called like thin wall, they just were not thin enough to fit down inside of there. Mount that bad boy up. I am ready to take this thing outside and take it for a spin. <laughs> All right, guys, well, there you have it. That's how you swap out the drive shafts on the Traxxas Max. Hopefully, all these drivetrain upgrades will allow this thing to be able to spin those tires without destroying itself because I really love those Fleen Kings. They are fantastic on this thing. I'm going to take it outside right now. I'm going to start ripping it around. I guess I'll record it. I don't know when I pull out the video. But anyways, that's all I got for you today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped you out. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel. Like the video if you like it, and I will see you guys later.